Welcome back for another real-time edit. Today I have this Dunlin that I shot in the winter. He was actually sitting on or standing on this real thin layer of floating ice. It was pretty neat and he was standing right on the edge where it was open water and ice and it was neat like, like there was little waves coming through real subtle and they would just kind of rock the ice and he would float around on it. Um, anyway, I had to work. It was just two birds there was another bird, I think, over here, and I had to work. I went vertical, number one, to crop that bird out because I couldn't figure out a good composition with both of them. And then it kind of worked out better to go vertical to see this beautiful golden tones back there. So I was behind a little tiny uh, a road that was kind of elevated, and so it put the entire bird in shade. But the background, way off in the distance, was getting nailed with just the first lights of, uh, or the first rays of sunlight is what I meant to say. So it's got that nice golden tone. And again, the camera picked a stupid white balance overall. It should be more like that, probably. Something in there. Because you can see now the bird's actually white underneath, not blue, like it was a second ago. Uh, so I'll lighten up the shadows so I can see a little bit more detail. But what I did lose is I really liked the color contrast that was introduced by that cooler white balance in on the water there. So I'm going to try and shift some of that back and then I'll bring some of that blue back in here in Photoshop most likely. So let me pop this into Photoshop and we'll get started editing it. There we go. You know, I forgot to check straightness on this. So I guess I can do that in here. Wow, it's pretty close, uh, which is amazing because I almost never shoot photos straight. <laughs> um, boy, I don't think I have much of anything to retouch. I'm just going to get rid of this one dark little whatever that is there. Just kind of soften that up. And then I saw another one back here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Next thing is to make the birds stand out a little bit more. Better light on them. Just going to go ahead and paint that in. I'm going to be just kind of rough with this. I don't think it has to be perfect. Oh, look at that. That's right. You can see the ice on the back of the feathers there. That's how cold it was that morning. A little bit of moisture on the bird and it just froze on its back. Crazy what these birds live in. It really is amazing. All right. Let's bring that beautiful catch light back up. There we go. That's looking good. All right. Now onto the color portion of this video. So I'm going to add in a little bit. I'm going to go way heavier with the blue so I can kind of paint it in exactly where I want it in different amounts. So I want a little bit more there, a little bit more there, not quite as much here because it's already blue because watch what happens. See, it just goes too much if I paint it in there, but something like that is good. Now, I just did a huge brush stroke right over top of the bird and I don't really want this bird to go any uh, cooler. So now I'll just come back in with a little bit more accuracy and then get rid of that so I can bring that kind of warm brownish tone back into the top of the bird here and again I don't think I need to be perfect here because well I just don't feel that it's necessary in this circumstance um, boy I don't think I need to warm that up anymore that's looking mighty good uh, let's see Let me just make sure I felt like I was getting a little bit of a halo around that from this dodge layer so just on the off chance, I'm going to try and select the water around the edge of the bird here. There we go. That's a good edge. And let me go back to this layer and then just paint with black along the top here just to make sure none of that's... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Gosh, I think that's it, guys. That's pretty clean there, so before after and 
From the beginning image, it should be a little bit more significant of a change just because I, uh, you know, the white balance was really wacky and it was a little bit dark to begin with. Um, so let's reset the original, check that out. Yeah, there we go, right? Look at that change. Right? Not huge, nothing crazy, but look how much more detail and light we have in the original than uh, showed in the original, you know? Uh, what I meant to say was how much more light and detail we have in the final one than showed in the original. So there you go. That's my final edit right there. Just really nice, pleasing colors on this. Not Nothing too crazy creative here. A vertical composition helped to include more of those colors up there and getting really, really low. I had my camera lens just about laying in the uh, slushy ice um, just to get as low as I possibly could so I could include that background and get really down on eye level with this Dunlin. So hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks as always for tuning in and you know, please let me know in the comments if you guys like these, if there's anything else I could do. Uh, I'm not going to slow down because if you really, really want to learn how I do all this stuff in detail, um, get in touch with me and we'll do a private session where I teach you exactly step by step how to do this on your own photos. Uh, I do offer that on my website. You can just go to rayhennessy.com and uh, let's see, you can just hit the workshops and look for the online workshops and here's the remote training session, right? So here's all the information about that. Um, I can teach you all kinds of different things with this and that's the way to connect with me if you really want to learn how I'm doing all of this stuff that I show you in these real-time edits because I know I'm doing them very quick but uh, I'm just sharing these because I have to edit these photos anyway when I share them so why not just record it but I don't really have the time to sit here and slow down and show you guys step by step everything I'm doing on these because I have a lot of photos to edit so uh, anyway um, that's the reason that I share them so quickly I hope you still do get something out of this anyway and yeah if you want to work with me it would be great if you get in touch so thanks so much that is my little plug and uh, I'll have another one of these for you soon